Hey Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi, and welcome back to my channel. Now, let's talk cartoons. If you're new to my channel, hi! <laughs> my name is Devi. This is my channel, Let's Talk Cartoons, where we do just that, talk cartoons. And if by the end of this video you like what we do here, talking about cartoons and stuff, please be sure to subscribe to join the family and drop a like down below so we can know. In today's episode of Into the Universe, we'll be diving into Mother Pearl's song. Why did I call her Mother Pearl? I like that name though. Anyways, we'll be diving into Pearl's song, It's Over, Isn't It? And we'll be looking, and we'll be looking a little bit deeper into this famous line. I was fine with the men who would come into her life now and again. I was fine because I knew that they didn't really matter until you. That's it. That's the main part that sparked this theory. Who are these men that didn't really matter? Who are all these men that came before Greg? What was Rose Quartz doing on Earth? Girl, can you take your time? I know you love the Earth, but you seem to really, really love the Earth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to dive a little bit deeper. It wasn't until I watched the episode where Pink Diamond revealed herself when I finally realized that, oh my gosh, I think I found the answer. Finally, after so long thinking about this theory, I can finally wrap it up. I had this theory for a while ever since Garnet told her story, but I wasn't able to just put it all together, but it wasn't until I watched the Pink Diamonds reveal when I realized, <laughs> it's time to make this theory. I got it all figured out. So yeah, be sure to strap on because this is gonna be a little bit of two theories in one. They're not gonna be split into two videos, it's one video, so don't worry. <laughs> So the song lyrics, I was fine with the men who would come into her life now and again. I was fine because I knew that they didn't really matter until you. Let's go back to Garnet's story. Now I know after seeing Pink Diamond's reveal, a lot of people are thinking, oh my gosh, that story is so fake. The only part that's real is the part where the road saved them from the corruption light. And I would agree with you if it wasn't for me going back and actually finding some truth in her story. If you look deeply, you can see that some of the things that she's saying are actually true and might be just a more glorified version of Rose Quartz's actual life, but some of them are very, very true. Now, I think the part when Garnet started to tell them about she was just usually a regular quartz gem. And then she continued working on Earth and she found beauty within. Mm. Rose Quartz was never a part of any court. She was just a way to escape. So no, I don't think she was bringing rocks to help build a kindergarten or anything like that. What I think this part of the story meant is this was a part where Rose decided to explore Earth and she became fascinated with the things within. And this part especially, when we see Rose Quartz is dancing with the men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the man who would come into her life now and again. Right at this part, Garnet says, Appreciation turned to fondness. She became fond of the humans. She was surrounded by the other men. I'm gonna say men, not literally only as, I don't really mean men as men, the gender, but human overall. So she was fascinated by men and she liked how they lived and she was like, what the heck? So you see her embracing the culture, dancing like they do. I've never really seen them dance much on Homeworld except when they sang, what's the use of feeling blue? And that still wasn't any kind of dancing like this. So I think she was excited to see these kind of dancing, embracing human life. And then Garnet said, fondness turned to love. And then we see her kissing a guy. I think maybe this is a representation of Greg. She grew fond of humans over time, but it wasn't until Greg when she realized a different kind of feeling. You know what I mean? I do not want to believe that Rose Quartz was in previous relationships and still ended up treating Greg the way she did. You know what I mean? I think Greg was her first actual love relationship 
which is why she ended up having a baby with him. Before, it was just basically her learning about the humans, being fascinated by them and loving them. So even though this guy doesn't look like Greg directly, I think it was more a representation of him. Now, let's get to who were these men. Take a closer look at these men's clothes. Does it look familiar? I think this clothes is basically an updated version of what humans look like. And because right now Holly Blue Agate doesn't really know what the humans are wearing, they just basically update their clothing, you know, not make that much changes. The style is still the same, but the designs are probably changed. You know what I mean? And that's what wrapped it up for me. Rose, while she was Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz at the same time, she was colonizing the earth, she was doing what the diamonds wanted her to do. And then she started to be in love with the earth. She started falling in love with the flowers, every little thing, and most of all, she loved humans. So she was like, okay, my sisters are going to destroy earth. I don't want these beautiful creations to go with along with it. So let me take them and preserve them here so that I can have a little bit of earth with me at all time. No, I don't think it was for slavery. And no, I do not think the men who came before were men who she was having relationship with. I just think she was trying to protect them and to preserve Earth's legacy, to have a little piece of Earth with her at all time. This was before she realized that she not only loved the Earth, but she also wanted to be a part of the Earth. She wanted to live here. She wanted to stay here forever. She was still going along with the Diamond's plan, but somewhere along the lines, after creating the zoo, she realized, oh hell no, we can't destroy this. I'm gonna help to save this, and I'm gonna preserve it, and I am gonna live here. We see like a literal depiction of this when Blue Diamond came to Earth, and she was like so fond of Greg, and then she took him and brought him to the zoo. She was like, I can save one more of my sister's legacy, you know what I mean? It's a literal representation. I think this is exactly how Pink Diamond felt. And no, I don't think she brought them to the zoo to experiment on them. Some of the theories I've been hearing. I'm not shutting y'all down. I'm just saying this is my opinion. A lot of people think she brought them to experiment and that's how she knew that Steven could be born. Uh, so many things. I just think she was in love. She was in love with them, fascinated by them. And she wanted to preserve the legacy, just like Blue Diamond said. She wanted to preserve her favorite part of the earth. So thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other interpretation of this line of the song, I was fine with the men who came into her life now and again. Do you think that Rose was just out here being in relationships after relationships, just Taylor Swifting? Or do you think my theory is correct? Or do you have another theory of your own? I would love to hear, really. I wanna hear what you have to say. And also, if you have any interpretation of Garnet's flashback, do you see anything that you think could actually be true other than the fact that Garnet was saved by Rose Quartz, Garnet, Pearl, and the others were saved by Rose Quartz? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video from me. Drop a like down below so I can know. And again, don't be afraid to join in on the conversation down in the comment section below. This is the end of this video, so please remember to stay positive, change the world for the better, and don't let it change you for the worst. Go around and watch my other videos, because this is the end of this video. Bye bye Thank you for watching my video today! If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. I upload videos all the time on this channel, so if you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe. And speaking of videos, did you watch my last video? If not, don't worry, I got you fam. It's right here. Just go ahead and click on it, watch the video, like and subscribe. Why not? See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.